Hello everybody. Sorry for the long months of silence. Right after the last video we were in a mad dash to finish before our big trip to Colorado. And afterwards, summer was in full swing with camping and work and other activities. We have documented a lot though, and are finally putting stuff together during the holidays and hope to catch everybody up. Thank you. So, this is what we got today. This is the uh, week four of painting and renovating the bus. There's a little Miss Ashley there. So Isaac's still working on all these parts here, getting them all painted black. Uh, we're still into painting mode. We're doing final touches. Um, it's taken a lot longer than we expected, but only due to um, all the prep work. That's what's killing us. A lot of tape, a lot of paper to you know keep with overspray at a minimum and um, honestly it, it comes down to the finishing this hood here for the front um, he's doing the second coat right now um, a few finer uh, fine details uh, again with the, the base of the hood we uh, we decided to get a actual sprayed like an actual purposed can of bumper paint. I'm not sure if it's any different from any other cut of paint, but uh, we'll see. It's a little glossier than the matte finish that we've been doing for all the other parts, but it's actually not too drastic of a difference. Um, we do have truck bed liner that we're going to go for under here. These are made out of plastic, so there's really no rust potential there, but um, we're trying to get all the yellow out. We don't, we don't want any any yellow showing when this is all finished so we're just gonna have that a nice black undercoating that hopefully will grip on better than other paint I mean it's gonna be splattered a lot with grime and dirt and other stuff so um, let's see we've got this all masked off yesterday and painted got our continuous black that goes across the whole uh, window line it's gonna basically reaches all the way front and back Like I said, we got the front and the back to do left for painting. That's pretty much what we have. Um, I got the back here done. Did the bumper paint, two coats. Did these window pieces, two coats. The door, obviously, I showed you earlier is all finished painting. Uh, we need gray up top, and we need gray on each side. Um, so everything's clean, sanded, and all that, ready to go. It just comes down to me finally getting to it. We're actually running low on paint for gray. Um, for this entire bus, it's been a can, about two cans, to get this whole bus done. And like I said, this is a this is tractor enamel, uh, oil-based paint. It uh, it's working very well for us. Uh, very easy to apply. Great results. It's glossy. But it's great contrast to the black that we've chosen. Um, we do have a, we do have to do the bottom trim line as well. You can kind of see it's a little splotchy. Um, that'll be like the last thing. It's going to be the quickest thing too. So that'll be nice. And uh, let's move on to the inside here. Now, what do we got? Um, so, well, I'm not sure if you can see any of this, but this is where the three clip lights in the back, these are red clip lights. Um, these ones are the most stubborn out of all of the clip lights. Super rusty, I mean, it, it, would, it would be so due to the fact that all the wind swirling back here with salt and Michigan and all that just eating away all this, so. Um, I just had a hammer and I actually had to bend these over and snap them off so that we had a shorter I guess draw to unscrew them out. After finishing the rest of the body of the bus, we started to find detail work of all the attachments, be the clip lights, the mirrors, the hinges, the door for the batteries, and the air intake. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and we hope to get more videos posted and catch everybody else up to what we've been doing.